This episode of Scientific Tuesdays is brought to you by Squarespace. If you've seen previous episodes of Scientific Tuesdays, then you know we love messing with dry ice. There's just so many ways you can fool around with it. You can toss it in a pool, you can flush it down your toilet and ruin your pipes, or if you're feeling extra sporty, you can even make a huge carbon bubble with it. Now these are all fun things to do, but what if we stepped up the game just a bit? Today I'll take you through another series of dry ice demonstrations and hopefully by the end of this episode, you'll feel the same way I do about it. Let's get started. Let's start off with a simple one. I'm gonna pour some indicator into a cup of water here. Now you can make an indicator yourself by boiling down a red cabbage. An indicator is going to allow us to see acidic changes in whatever solution we add it to. Now we're gonna add a small piece of dry ice to the glass and the solid CO2 is going to actually turn into a vaporous CO2. And as that occurs, the carbon dioxide gas will enter the solution and it'll react with the water forming carbonic acid. That's why the indicator will change colors. That was pretty cool, but you went awesome. So let's freeze stuff. Now a word to the wise here, what we're gonna be doing is, is quite dangerous. You really don't wanna do it at home unless you really, really know exactly what you're doing. But we're going to put the dry ice in a plastic encasement and then pour 99% alcohol over it. Now, I borrowed this idea from William Beattie. You can check out his YouTube channel here, youtube.com slash And basically, we're going to take the alcohol down to 110 degrees below zero. That's Fahrenheit, of course. If you are uh, on the Celsius chart, then we're looking at negative 79. Alcohol freezes at negative 173 degrees Fahrenheit. So, if we pour it over the dry ice, we can get it very, very cold and freeze things. Now I wanna have some fun with this, so let's start with the tomato that I pulled off of my sandwich. We will dunk it into the liquid we've got here and hold it down there for a little while and see what happens when we pull it out. I'm going to knock off all the excess liquid if this gets on your fingers, it will stick to it and uh, be very bad. So as I said earlier, don't try this. Just watch, let me do it. So as you can see, the liquid we've created here has essentially frozen this tomato and we can now break it apart. Let's try a piece of cheese though and see what happens with that. If you're lactose intolerant like me, then you'll probably love this portion. All right, the cheese has been in there long enough. Let's pull it out. Look at the discoloration. Looks like that cheese is pretty hard. Let's break it apart. As you can see, it flakes right apart. Hard as a rock. Bye bye cheese. Now how about a piece of lettuce? Since it's so thin, I would imagine it's going to break up quite easily when I hit it with a hammer. Let's find out for sure. Looks like it's stuck to my pliers here. <laughs> but my calculations were correct. It broke up quite nicely. Let's give it a little extra oomph. You can see the lettuce just shatters like nothing. If you enjoyed these demonstrations so far, then I have great news for you. There's still a bonus clip at the end of the video for you to check out. But I'm gonna be completely honest with you first. The only thing I love more than messing with dry ice is paying my rent so that I don't have to do science experiments in the street. So I wanna send a big shout out this week to our sponsor, Squarespace. Squarespace is awesome for anyone looking to create a blog, personal portfolio, or any kind of website. No matter what level of coding experience you have, Squarespace will provide you with the tools you need to create a high-end, complex website that is uniquely your own. And don't worry, if you come across any questions or issues, Squarespace also offers 24-7 support. 
Many of the internet's highest traffic web pages are powered by Squarespace, which is awesome. So make sure you check out squarespace.com if you want to learn more. And when you check out, enter the code SCIENCE and you'll get 10% off the lifetime of your order. I'm going to take this half-cut hot dog here and drop it in there and just see what happens. Now, this is kind of thick, so I'm not sure it's going to do too well, but I'll leave it in there for a long time, and, you know, hopefully it'll freeze over. But, you know, this is bonus footage, so you're going to have to deal with it if it doesn't. All right, and here we go. Let's see what happens. And that's a boo on the hot dog. 